Oh, welcome back to Get Bit. We're still playing Raymond. Oh, wait, nope. This episode, yeah. This episode brought to you in part by, uh, uh, nerds. I like nerds candy. I have a box of rainbow nerds sitting right here. They're good. Yep. Well, welcome back anyway. Um, so I remember I was doing last time I was going this way. I already got the cage. And I think this is going to be the last episode I'm recording in this session. Oh, wait, no. I just went through here. Okay. There we go. And, oh. Wake up call. You need to work on your aim. Yeah, you do. Uh, there's the switch. There we go. Got the switch. And then we can jump down here. Shoop, shop, a doo wop. And we're heading into the next area. So, what do I want to talk to you guys about today? Let's see if I can describe Shondells. And it shouldn't be too hard. Chandelles are fairly... Oh, no! Okay. Oh, I got zip zap a boop a bops No! Stop getting zip zap a boop a bops No! Wow. I'm a failure. Wow. I could have just run through those and been fine. Anyway, I will tell you about Chandelles. This is a maximum performance maneuver. And all of these really are just uh, trying to figure out if we have mastery of the aircraft. That's where that's going to appear. We'll go down this way. There's a bomb. Okay. Um, so anyway. Free me, Rayman. Find the machine. And sh I really liked her character design. It, it really... It's, it's really different. It's interesting. Anyway. So Shondell Maximum Performance Maneuver. It's basically used um, to gain altitude. Um, and how it does that it, it, is it trades airspeed for altitude but it doesn't it doesn't bring you into a stall at all so it's not like you're just pitching straight up um this is a 180 degree maneuver so you start out one direction end up facing the opposite one and well i'm sorry i'm preparing myself for this because this is going to be difficult to do oh, he's playing basketball with this thing so that's fine anyway so you start off you have a gums checklist for this one you have a gums checklist for all mixtures i'm uh, sorry all uh maneuvers and this procedure starts off. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I never remembered that as a kid. I always tried to outrun it. I That's the stupidest thing. Oh! I forgot to stop and not do that. Okay, anyway, let's try this again. Such a simple defense mechanism has got me stumped. So, Shondell. Gumps checklist. Gas in the proper tank. Mixture full rich. Fuel pump is on. Undercarriage remains up. And if I'm wrong, so sue me. My instructors are just going to hate me. Okay, we got one. Okay. Um, for this one, your power is going to be set at maneuvering speed, which is, again, probably going to be about 23 inches of manifold pressure. But for this one, your prop's going to be full forward because it is a high performance maneuver kind of thing. Like it requires that type of uh, performance, whatnots. There we go. Okay. So for this now, um, you start off on any direction of your choosing. Uh, use the roads generally so that you have a general idea of where you're going to have to do. Um, your certain checks because you've got a 90 degree point that you need to make sure you're aware of and then the 180 as well as where you start from. So you start off, you finish the gumps checklist, your next goal is Okay, we're gonna go see Lee. Um, gumps checklist complete. You go roll into 30 degrees of bank, doesn't matter what direction, full throttle. And remember how I told you the prop had to be full forward? That's because you're going full throttle. And, oh, I did not remember she had freckles. Anyway, so the first part of the, the first 90 degrees in the turn, you're going to have constant bank and changing pitch. And the second half is going to be constant pitch, changing bank. So when you roll in 30 degrees of bank, you keep that in for the first 90 degrees of the turn. And you're gonna pitch up increasingly 
to about 15 to 18 degrees max pitch up. And that should be exactly when you're at your 90 degree point in the turn. And once you hit that point, you want to maintain that pitch up. No, I haven't. Um, you're going to maintain that pitch up and slowly roll out your bank so that you end up at the 180 degree point in the turn at the same pitch up, wings level, and an airspeed that is just above stall speed in the aircraft. Now, I, describe, I was describing stalls to another person the other day, and there are two different types of stalls you should be aware of. Mainly engine stalling and airflow over the wing, as in the wing stalls. So if you don't have airflow over the wing, you're gonna not produce any lift. So a stall is when a wing stops producing lift. Now if the engine stalled, we call that engine failure. So it's a little bit different. You can kind of see where people might get confused because you know you say your car stalls all the time, or maybe that's just because you have a shitty car, but that's how it goes. So anyway, first 90 degrees of the turn, done. Second 90 degrees of the turn, maintaining that pitch up, slowly rolling out the bank so that you end up wings level just above the stall speed for the wings, not the engine. Because the engine's gonna keep running because you have the mixture full in. You know, you're not losing any of that. And once you do that, you have to maintain that altitude that you end up at, no more, no less, and you wanna slowly let the pitch down so that you maintain the altitude without dropping, lowering, and you want to build up airspeed that way. Look at he looks at the camera, he's like, sup, jump, sup, jump. Aren't I cute? Oh, no. He just grabbed away now. Anyway, so that's what you do. And that is how you do a chandelle. If you have any confusions, uh, write to me, say hi, say John, you're, you're weird, you're stupid, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, your gear is supposed to be down. No, it's probably, I think it's supposed to be up. I should have my notebook while I'm talking through this because that'll actually help me figure out. Okay, I want all the lums. Stay gentle under the fender. Sorry, it made me think of Lilo and Stitch for a second. And I'm not sure why. All right, we'll go down to this part. And I think that's all what I'm going to teach right now. Like, I, I know that I really need to work on how I word things. But that's all right. It'll come in time, I hope. Now, the best part about being a pilot is you can play flight sim. And it actually is realistic. Like, I can guarantee that that's what we do. Um, because a buddy of mine, <laughs> Trilobite, got me flight sim uh, X gold edition. Wake up, wake up, sleepyhead. You can't hit worth a dime. Ha, I beat you. There we go, got all my lums. Oh, all my lums. Okay, so he got me flight sim. And he's actually studying to be an air traffic controller. Yeah, he went back up to Massachusetts, had some fun. Oh, wait, shit, you don't need to know where that is. I'm going to bleep that out. I'm going to censor that. You don't need to know where he lives. Anyway, he went back to school for air traffic control. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a server. You guys should come play sometime and see if you guys can fly too. And he's going to be the controller, and we're going to be the pilots. And it's all going to be fun, Shaggy. I don't need you, Murphy. Don't talk. No, Murphy, don't talk to me. I know what this is. Gosh. These are air currents. Stay current with the times, Raymond. You gotta activate your helic chopper. I remember at one point there was a. I can't remember if at the end of this he gets the ability to fly, or if it's something else he gets the ability to fly. But I do remember that we don't just float and glide down through the entire game. I know that he can go at actual flying when we get deep into the into the bowels of the game. And that's going to be so much fun when we do. I just can't wait. Okay, where do we go next? We go there. Well, can we make it? Can we make it? We got it. And get the lum. 
Yeah, got the lum. I'm like dead set on collecting all of these lums this play this playthrough. There's nothing I can't do. Can I make it? I want to make it. I'm gonna make it. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun. The main goal of Get Bit Channel, like I think, is just literally so we can have fun and play games. But I really apologize for us being backlogged the one week. That really shouldn't have happened. Like, I don't know, like, what happened, but we did run out of videos. That's not okay. And oh my gosh, I'm exceeding my time again. I need to pay more attention to that. Oh my gosh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Look forward to the next. Maybe I'll get to the top uh, before you guys come back. But we are Get Bit. We like to have fun playing games. You guys should play games with us. Anyway, I will see you around. Hey guys, you know, you know I lied to you. We've got to get to a safe point. Welcome back to Rayman, The Great Adventures. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm still stuck in the wind tunnels. I didn't actually go anywhere. I literally just clicked and unclicked this, this, this screen. It's okay. So our goal now is to get to the top. I think there's a boss here. No, we already defeated everything. I'm just looking for the exit at this point. I'm not anticipating anything difficult arising out of this. <laughs> arising. Sorry, that was, wow, terrible. I'm going to have to hate, hate me when I'm editing. Okay, I want it. I think we got to go back over here. Wait, nope, we can do it. Nope, we can't do it anymore. I'm just going to go over here. This isn't the most enjoyable part of the game. It will get exciting uh, later on. I guarantee that. When we're actually fighting, doing work, writing pencils. Yeah, we write pencils in this game. It's fun. And I'm running out of things to talk about because, oh my gosh, I've been playing for so long. Oh, ha ha. Read a book. What? Yeah. Just barely. And we've reached it to the end. Really, I think I'm just going to add this on to the previous episode. I'm really just going to be adding this on to the previous episode. Yeah. It completely ignore the fact that I said welcome back. <clears throat> Blech. Whew. In any case, now I hope you enjoyed. Please do look forward to the next episode. Oh. Ha, 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 ha. Woo! It's like Super Mario Sunshine, but better. And by better, I mean like jumping into the paintings type things. Anyway, did I find all of them? What? What? I found them. I found all of them. Did it have did, because I didn't look on the barrel? Access denied. I'll go back and find them on my own time. We don't need to worry about that. I thought I found them all. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, like, subscribe, leave a rating, please tell us what we're doing wrong, what you'd like to see. Actually, yeah. Post up some games that you want to see, because we love playing games. The Marshes of Awaiting, that's where I got stuck. The second goddamn level. It's just like Echo the Dolphin all over again, dear god. Oh well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Like, favorite, subscribe. Wow, I'd never hope to say that again. But anyway, work it a bit, and I will see you around. Hey, let me show you my cool remote.